Introduction Arjun and his father are out shopping for summer clothes. They are both looking for clothes that are cool, comfortable, lightweight and maintenance free. Arjun picks up a cotton shirt. His father decides against it as it is heavy and gets crossed easily. Arjun then picks up a synthetic shirt which feels light and is wrinkle free. His father rejects it too because it does not absorb moisture effectively. Finally, after two long hours, they come across shirts which are made of blended fabric and have all the qualities they are looking for. In this lesson, let us learn about fiber and fabric in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to State the importance of clothes Define fibers Differentiate between natural and synthetic fibers Define weaving, dyeing, designing and stitching of fabric Clothes we wear All of us wear clothes Clothes protect us from cold, heat, rain, dust and insects. We choose clothes to suit the season and the work we do. The clothes that we wear reflect our attitude and personality. Fibers Fiber is the raw material used in manufacturing clothes. Fibers are transformed into clothes through a series of steps. First, raw fibers are twisted together to form long strands of threads known as yarns. The yarns are then woven and knitted to form fabrics. Finally, fabrics are used to make clothes of different sizes and shapes to suit the needs of the people. Fibers are of two types, natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural Fibers Natural fibers are made from plants and animals. Some natural fibers are cotton, wool and silk. Cotton is obtained from plants. Wool is obtained from sheep, goats and camels. Silk is obtained from silkworms. Synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are man made. Nylon, polyester, etc., are examples of synthetic fibers. Fabric made from synthetic fibers is cheap, dries easily, and does not wrinkle. Usually, synthetic are combined with natural fibers to create strong and soft fabrics. Weaving. Weaving is the process by which fabrics are made from yarns. For this purpose, one set of yarns is passed horizontally and another set of yarns is passed vertically. Crisscrossing of yarns in this manner is known as interlacing. Finishing The process that improves the appearance and usefulness of a fabric is known as finishing. Some important finishing treatments given to a fabric are Brushing The process of brushing removes short and loose fibers from a fabric. Calendaring The process of calendaring improves the smoothness and shine of a fabric. Bleaching the process of bleaching removes the natural color of raw fabric. Dyeing Dyeing a fabric means giving a new color to the fabric. To dye a fabric, first a solution of dye and salt in warm water is prepared. Next the fabric is dipped in the solution. Then the fabric is removed from the solution after an hour and washed. Finally, the fabric is dried.
Designing The beauty of a fabric can be enhanced by making patterns on it through the process of designing. Fabrics can be designed with the help of ink, paint or embroidery, stones, beads or crystals, laces or zari. Stitching Stitching is the process by which fabrics are converted into clothes. It involves sewing a fabric with needle and thread. In olden days, stitching was done with hands, but nowadays stitching is done with machines. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Clothes protect us from cold, heat, rain, dust and insects. Fiber is the raw material used in manufacturing clothes. Fibers are of two types, natural and synthetic. Natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. Synthetic fibers are man-made. Fabric is made by weaving two sets of threads at right angles to one another. Finishing a fabric involves three basic processes, brushing, calendaring and bleaching. Fabrics are dyed and designed to enhance their appearance. Stitching is the process by which fabrics are converted into clothes.